Hi, good morning. It's Jim. It's Saturday. Um, and today I need to put right one of the big problems in my channel. Uh, one of the biggest omissions there's been. Uh, I've had one track which I've, uh, I've listened to um, successfully on YouTube, which was Panic Room by the band Dream Theatre. And uh, there has been literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of requests uh, to me to listen to more of their music. Um, initially, I didn't do it because every time I tried to do it, it all got blocked on YouTube. Um, but then I realised if I just listen to the music, which is kind of what I've been doing a lot more of recently, rather than trying to upload sort of video and stuff with it, it's far more likely to work. So with a little bit of luck and a tailwind behind me and all that good stuff, that's what we're going to do with this. So this is Octavarium, which is a bit of a beast. It sort of weighs in at... Um, God knows how many minutes. Uh, just done 24 minutes. So get yourself get yourself a cup of tea, make yourself comfortable, because this is going to take a while. Um, let's get this ready to go. Uh, I can't possibly go through all the names of everyone who's asked for this, because it, is, it literally has been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Not necessarily for Octavarium, but for uh, Dream Theatre as a whole. Um, there are loads of different tracks that have been asked for. Um, this is one of, uh, so it's one I've picked. I know that uh, Panic Room, which is a track I listened to probably about a year ago, I think it was on the same album. I recognise the album cover with the uh, silver balls hanging down. Those things. Um, so if that got through, hopefully this will too. We shall see. So get this video ready to go. I think it is. Let's go. Three, two, one. Bosh. It's quiet. It's coming. <laughs> Expecting that to be uh, shine on your crazy diamond. It's the same sort of uh, pad swell. <laughs> Very much so. That's a lovely chord change. I approve.
chord change is so lovely. This is so... It is so much like Shining a Crazy Diamond, it's untrue. Just those, uh, those beautiful pads. i 
Ciao. That's so groovy. keyboard is not the same as air guitar.
Luciana Spanko. Play drums like this. Flying off the handle with careful with that axe, jeans, the dance machine, Messiah, light my fire, gather, gather, hey, hey, my. Flight of the Bumblebee. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, there go. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, 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 Run, 
Bray's got the easy job. He's only got to sing. start where do you start when you're trying to write something like that um i mean that is truly symphonic i mean it's huge um uh with the uh, sort of a light overture at the beginning and um it builds and builds and builds you have that enormous crescendo in the middle and it just yeah, it, i 
the word masterpiece is used it's banded about uh, like crazy, isn't it? And people use it, oh, it's a masterpiece. But this is, I mean, this so is. It's absolutely a masterpiece and a masterclass in absolutely phenomenal uh, composition and musicianship. Um, just astounding. Virtuoso musicianship, I would say. I mean, I, I, I sort of made a sort of little remark in there about James LeBray had the easy job. He really did. He only had to sing. Um and he was in it for a little bit. The majority of that piece was just astonishing. Uh, I, ah, flipping bloody Nora. I don't even know where to start. I really don't. Um, uh, I think um, all of the different musicians in there, uh, keyboards, guitar, bass and drums are all absolutely phenomenal at what they do. Um it, you'd be hard pressed. I mean you there are there are musicians comparable to that, but these guys are absolutely all, and when they did this were actually at the top of the game. I don't know if they uh, they've gone off the boil or or this is the pinnacle of their heights. Is there something else I should be listening to that should if this has blown my mind, what else would I would I appreciate from from uh Dream Theatre? Um, I've I don't know why, and I've said this on the on the last time I listened to their music, which is a uh, Panic Room. Uh, why it's passed me by in such a way? Uh, I of course have been aware of Dream Theatre uh, for a long, long, long time, um, but have never really listened to them. Um, I listened to, as I say, Panic Room uh, a year ago, I think, something like that. Um, Again, on the recommendation of lots of people on the channel saying I need to be listening to more, more or listening to any Dream Theatre for that matter. Um, and I'm not sure why I picked that, but I did. And I was pretty impressed. Uh, now, this has taken that to a whole different level. This is this is an experience. This is a similar sort in the way that sort of like sort of 2112 from Rush or, or Singularity, Devin Townsend, um, sort of some of these really big, epic, sweeping, majestic pieces of, of, of art that's, that have this arc. They start and they build and they go through so many different places to come back down to the, uh, to sort of, uh, to wrap up the piece um in in a in a um in a satisfying way uh, it's, i just i love this this is this is so so different from what most people will be listening to on a sort of a day to day basis on the radio that's sort of absolutely disposable three minute pop song um that again is it's, it's very clever there's a lot of work and effort goes into it but it is a lot of work and effort that goes into something that is going to be acceptable to uh, commercial radio stations and to advertisers who want to place their adverts on there. This is can never fit in that sort of situation. You'd have to have about sort of six or seven advertisement breaks in the song just to just be able to play it. Um, um there's no reason why this couldn't be played on the radio, apart from obviously it's just it's not commercial enough. There's nothing objectionable about it. There's nothing in there to scare people. There's no, it's not it's not disturbing or loud or there's the lyrics are not offensive and are just absolutely masterful, magnificent, beautiful, uh, just gorgeous and just so so clever clever's the wrong word it is when I mean, it is clever but it's just so so well put together and an absolute demonstration of what what we can create as human beings um as sort of four or five five people together uh bringing their own musical vision together to create something as epic and sweeping and and accomplished Really, really amazing, amazing music. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for recommending it. Um, and uh, I really need you to leave some comments on this to tell me what I should be listening to because uh, uh, this 
as I say, is just amazing. And I've listened to a lot of uh, sort of prog metal now, um, some of it better than others. Um, and a lot of it is now trying to go down that sort of, um, that very sort of metal, uh, gent, degent, whatever those would have me describe it as, uh, way, which is, is all well and good. But I love it. I love this. It is, it is of its time, I guess. I don't know what year this came out. Um, have a quick look. Um, <clears throat> Octavarium. <laughs> um, when did this come out? Uh, 2011. Oh, no, 2005. Okay. So it is the eighth studio album by American prog metal band Dream Theater, released on June the 7th. <gasps> oh, I'm a day out. How about that? Um, released yesterday, but... Uh, 14 years ago, 2005. Um, amazing. Uh, produced by uh, John Petrucci. Petrucci? 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 Petrucci. Oh, God, easy for you to say, Jim. Uh, you know the one. And Mike Portnoy. Um, amazing. I look. Um, I'm going to leave it there because there's nothing else I can say about this apart from just what a phenomenal, amazing experience that's been for me. Um, I don't want to try and pick it apart, talk about the guitar, talk about the bass, although the bass was bloody brilliant. Drums, of course, superb. Keyboards, what can I say? It just makes you want to sort of uh, want to sort of fiddle about on the keys and sort of wheel your, um, your uh, pitch bend wheel and modulation wheel and just sort of... Uh, I said I'm not going to do that, so I won't. Uh, amazing. Thank you so much. Um, look, I'll see you guys on the next video whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim, over and out.